are so tired. Good evening, everyone. Amy and Shelley with Miley. If you are there and you can see me, please say something so I know you're there and if I'm clear. Thank you. Ah, oh, it's been a long day been a long day to say the least I don't even know honestly I don't even know why I didn't go live this morning I was like I need to go live from the car and I was just we're so out of it uh thank you for the clear Audrey thank you and hi Audrey so I wanted to do an update today was a big day for our sweet Miley she uh, was scheduled to be spayed today so the vet that we use and love is all the way in Broward. And as you know, we are up here in Loxahatchee. So you can imagine having to get her, uh, Miley, to her appointment this morning in traffic. Um, that's traffic time. Everybody's going to work. So Miley, uh, Shelly and I, well, Shelly got up at probably 5, I think I saw the light on at 5 a.m., uh, getting everybody fed and medicated and getting, letting everybody get out and cleaning, um, taking care of the whole rescue house. And we left here at 7 a.m. to get to Broward to her, uh, Miley's 9 a.m. appointment where she was spayed, vaccinated, microchipped, nail trim um, this morning. And... We drove back after we dropped her off and got her settled and comfortable. Um, surgery was around 11, and we picked her up at 3.30, got back at 5.30. It's now 7.30. So you can imagine it's been a long day. Um, she did great. Her incision is absolutely beautiful. I can't even tell she had surgery. She was uh, a little car sick. She's sleepy. She's just coming off anesthesia. So it's a long, it's a, it's a big surgery. It's a hysterectomy. It's a major, major surgery for dogs. People don't realize what they go through. Um, she uh, was nauseous in the car. So she vomited a couple times on the way down on an empty belly. And then on the way back, she was uh, just coming out of the anesthesia. So she was a little whiny and it just breaks your heart, you know, such a sweet, sweet soul that has been through so much already. Uh, for any of you that are not aware, you're just jumping on, you're not familiar. Uh, this is Amy and Shelly with 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida. Miley, we took in a little over three weeks ago after we received a call. Miley was living on the streets of Miami, uh, homeless terrified of everything, everything. Uh, there was a caught on a ring camera that she was being beaten with an umbrella by some elderly woman and bleach thrown on her because they didn't want her running the street and on their property. So imagine that. Uh, I don't know what else she's endured on the streets. Over a hundred days, we know she was alone on the streets. Uh, we were able to bring her in, a friend of ours, Gloria reached out and said, Amy, please, you're the person that needs to take her. She's a runner. She, any, she'll be gone if I take her anywhere else. She needs to go to the right place. So we said yes. Um, and Gloria and Dana brought her up here. She's been with us for three weeks, thriving, thriving, amazing, like Velcro, sweet, loving, submissive. Uh, but as I've stated in my previous posts, she's a runner. Uh, a runner is a runner forever can never let your guard down. So she needs a very special, safe home, a calm home. Uh, there's just no room for error. I'm not gonna be waiting for a phone call that she got out of someone's house and I'm gonna lose my mind. So 
We've had a lot of people that reached out. Unfortunately, they were not a fit. Um, a couple people, maybe, uh, maybe. We'll have to wait and see. Right now, um, we're just focusing on Miley and getting her well. I was home, uh, just settling in for the night because it's been a long day. And Shelly had reached out and said, Amy, when you get a chance, can you call me? I'm concerned. So I said, of course. Um, I came running right over. And um, I sent, before you get alarmed and worried, because I was freaking out and so was Shelly. Um, this is what she urinated. And it's a dark, almost like a menstrual, like when you get your period. Uh, it's not bright red. Um, and again, the pee pad could be just discoloration, making it spread, looking like more with her urine. Um, so that's what Miley urinated. Uh, she was not comfortable going outside and uh, we wanted to give her time to just relax. And she went on the pee pad. Um, she hasn't eaten yet, which is normal. Um, but I did send the photo to Dr. Kesha and I did actually speak with him and told him everything. I checked, Shelly and I looked, her incision is absolutely perfect 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 um, honestly it doesn't even look like she had surgery that's how amazing it is i can't even see yeah. it's unbelievable um he said amy it is normal for a dog after spay sometimes not all the time because we have spayed i mean thousands of dogs and nothing but it is normal sometimes if a dog is going into heat um, he said she was pretty swollen down there, so she could have possibly been going into heat. Um, and it is normal, it can be normal for a dog to have some discharge or some blood. Um, but you can imagine when Shelly saw this and called me and I came over, of course, we were both freaking out, um, which is why I reached out to the doctor. So we're just going to, he said, don't be, you know, don't go crazy. Don't go, don't be a wreck. If she's acting normal and there's her incision is fine. He's like, just let her rest, which is what we're doing. Um, and we're just going to monitor her and hopefully it's nothing. So we have a 24 hour animal hospital right up the street. Um, all I'm saying is, listen, you know, we're open book. We're transparent. What we go through, you go through, we bring you along for everything. So I wanted to share uh, while I did the update, um, wanted to share what's happening so that if God forbid a billion times something should arise where we have to rush her to a hospital, um, then you'll know why. Yeah, we can get rid of that for sure. It's stinky. Um, I just took her hard cone off while we're here with her because she's definitely more comfortable. And I do have uh, a soft cone. I just need to make sure that she cannot get out of this because she cannot go near her incision. So at night, uh, she's going to have to have the hard cone, unfortunately, and when we're watching her, we can put the softer one on. Uh, I don't know, she, your dog is in heat. Yeah, I mean, why isn't your dog spayed, Candace Wills? Spay, 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 neuter, spay, spay. Um, it's healthier for the dog. I'm just gonna say that. I'm not gonna <laughs> preach, I'm gonna educate. Um, spaying is so important. We've had a lot of rescue dogs come in that were bleeding and, uh, we've done, you know, radiographs and, and found out that they had pyometra, which is an infected uterus, which can basically cause an infection to run through their body, um, and kill them. So please, it is so, so, so important to learn and educate about spaying and neutering for male dogs as well, because they can get cancer. So please do your research and I'll leave it at that. Um, she could, um, oh, we are exhausted. We're all, how Miley looks is how we, we feel. And uh, that's why the camera's on her and not on me. Um, but yeah, so again, it's 7.30. I wanted to update everybody and let you know that Miley was actually spayed today uh, and microchipped and vaccinated. Um, we're just sitting with her on her comfy bed. You can see she's very, very comfortable. And we're just going to monitor her and make sure she's okay. But what these babies go through, guys, what they go through, oh, they're little souls, you know? I mean, I know this is a surgery that had to be done. Um, I know she'll be feeling, God willing, please God above, watch over her. I know that in a day or two, she's going to be feeling like 
as good as new. And that's just how it's always been here. Um, again, occasionally things can happen, but there shouldn't be. She's young, she's healthy. So I'm hoping it's just that she was maybe going into uh, heat because everything looks beautiful, absolutely beautiful from her incision. And um, I had him look at her teeth and he said her teeth are perfect, absolutely perfect. She's about two years of age. That's it, she's a baby. Two years of age and think what this baby has been through in two years of her life. I mean, she was on the street, like I said, for, for what we know, over 100 days. Could be a lot longer. Um, completely did not look like this. Completely covered, covered in mats and filth and just dirty and stinky and, again, terrified of everything, everybody, everything, everything. My nummy, my, 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 my sweet baby girl. I love you. I love you so much. You're such a beautiful baby girl. Get some rest, mommy. Need some, you want some dinners, mama? She has not eaten today. Obviously you can't feed a dog when they're going in for surgery. You try some? Oh, look what I have. I try. Want me to hand feed you a little piece? It's hard to feed you this. It's really crumbly. Mm. Oh, Miley. Miley. Look. No, she does not want to eat at all. She had a very, very upset belly. Again, she was car sick this morning. She vomited a couple of times, so... Um, the plus the anesthesia wearing off and pain medication. It, it's not abnormal. I mean, our dogs normally, any rescue dog that we bring back normally eats right away or that night. But it's not going to surprise me if she doesn't eat until the morning. The thing is, she has to get pain medication. So we are going to have to get that in her um, tonight before she goes to sleep, for sure. Mama. Miley. Hey, Mama. I won't force you. I won't force you. So I'm going to let her sleep and let her be and rest. I don't want to upset her. I want to be quiet. I want to put the soft music back on for her um, and just sit with her and monitor her and make sure she's okay. I did want to update everybody um, on Miley and her condition and her spay. Uh, we do have a donate button on here if you would like to make a donation towards her medical and ongoing care. It would be greatly appreciated. Um, remember, we are a 501c3, and we do depend solely on your love and your support. Uh, your prayers would be so appreciated that she does um, get through everything quickly, and all of this turns into nothing, and we don't have anything to worry about, so... Please, if any, if nothing, please keep your love and prayers coming for Miley. And uh, we're just going to let her rest and, and watch her. And if anything changes, we will keep you all posted on her. Um, we love her so, so much. She's just nothing but a dream. She is the most loving, submissive, grateful, forgiving little soul. She's, again, a two-year-old purebred Yorkie. She was so great at the vet. They let her do... Uh, she let them do everything to her without any kind of snapping, growling. These are all new hands on her. Actually, when we got there, we handed her over to Dr. Kesha, and he's a tall guy, and she trusts us. So she went into his arms, and she just looked at us. We gave her kisses. It killed us to walk away, but we knew she was in wonderful, wonderful, caring hands. So, um, yeah, it's always worrying, right? It's like when you have children. These are our children. So we worry all the time, all the time. But she's on the mend, God willing. So keep your prayers coming again. Thank you, everybody, for your love and your prayers for Miley. And uh, we'll keep you posted on her um, on her status and, and how she's doing after her surgery. This is Amy signing off. 100 plus abandoned dogs at Everglades, Florida with Miley.